Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, let's check out some of the new features for the Android O. Already have shown you in the tab review too. There was a new feature called the picture in picture. So I made a detailed video how you can do that. But uh, in the current version of the Android DP3, this thing has been removed. So a lot of places and websites are talking about this thing is completely removed. No, this thing is not completely removed. Uh, here is the one. So if you just go here back side on inside this apps and notifications, you guys can see that this advanced section and a special app access. So just find out an entry called picture in picture. You can see as of now four apps are uh, properly supported for this uh, picture in picture. But in W2 there was a problem when you try to use this picture in picture. You know, for example, YouTube. Uh, when you start using this YouTube, uh, it does minimize it itself, and you can easily float it and uh, display it over other apps. So. But uh, you are not able to view the video, you can just listen to the video. This is sort of broken but this in this GP3, this thing is perfectly working. So that proves that Google is still working on picture in picture and that's why they removed from system itinerary and he wanted to keep it uh, from forever time. So it looks like. So today in this video guys, we are going to see how you can still enable this uh, uh, picture in picture feature. So since already this feature is removed from the uh, system itinerary, so directly it is not possible but using the application. You can do that and also guys there is a quick bug here so I will just show you here you can see on the depth you do I did enable that thing on the same video when I showed you demo how you can do that I try to do that and I move this navigation bar to a little bit here you can see actually the navigation bar a little bit wider I just minimize that so that I need to you know, stretch my fingers or thumbs less and I enable this uh, windows key code and this is your clipboard but uh, you can see here on the depth you see I have already managed to do that. So you, to do that, you guys have to download an application called it's a custom navigation bar. That is a free application, it's still in beta, but it's working fine. I'm using from last yesterday, I guess more than 12 hours, Didn't, no issues at all. I did use this YouTube here, a lot of picture and picture is fine. So I will show you guys how you can configure it. So there are two methods. Uh, first method needs PC because it needs ADB uh, fastboot command to grant a to enable a shell pm grant command so that I will show you guys in this quick way how you can do that otherwise uh, if you are rooted you can easily do that so here uh, as you can see uh, with the free version you can do simple stuff but uh, you can also change the themes um, if you buy a pro version you can remove all things you have custom task integration so let me show you quickly guys how you can uh, first uh, configure the application when you first open the application, it will show you some possible, you know, steps that you have to do. So there are two methods if you are rooted, if you are not rooted. So I'm going to show you guys if you are not rooted because rooted is very simple. You don't need any high setup. You can just try out that. Uh, just open. You have to open in this uh, terminal emulator. It should work. So uh, make sure to set up all the fastboot commands. And once your device is connected, I'm going to use this command prompt and execute this ADB command. So I'm assuming you should be having all these steps. So ADB devices, make sure. You have a perfect working connection it shows some device working then you have to enter the adb shell then uh, i will just write down the complete command you can just take out from the app itself so it is done now inside the application you will see uh, there is a new window comes it shows you safety first and some start to run tests you have to just click on the start run test it will do some internal testing just to verify like permissions has gone properly or not you should see a new window it will show you as a comparable and a finish window so it is done that means you're good to go and done now let's go and configure our application so open the app again go inside this navigation bar and you have to enable either the extra left or right button so i'm going to take this extra left button so select it as a key code and you guys have to enter the code as 171 so here it is window so just go down here and scroll for the window you will get it should be here so this is your window and you can also select any icon whatever you want i just selected the menu and i just skipped it here so that's how you can configure the application i can assume that you have understood how to do that so in case you have pc uh, you can do that otherwise in case you have uh, a rooted phone so that is pretty much easy so already a uh, chain file has released this uh, super sv2.82 you can easily root the android already i made a video how you can root the android i'll just show, soon so you guys update it for the debut 3 so here we go i'm just going to launch the youtube on both the places here so i just go down here this is the one i'm gonna play i already have shown you guys yesterday this top five features so check out those things that is very awesome all right so first i will show you here on this thing here you can see once you start playing an application uh, video and if you just uh, clip here you can see now it perfectly fits on the w2 
it was not working at all so now you can easily watch the video here you just have to play it again so here's the one now i can use google keep it's working out i can use any of the solid x for any application i want but i went here uh, it is working on all the application you can easily work that let's go give a try and see multi window it is working or not and yeah you can use it on the multi window you can see i shrink it back itself to the normal position so you can see uh, there should be something you know you can make it a little bit wider so hopefully in the future it should do that but otherwise it's working fine you can see now it is switched to the complete youtube if i just go back here and play do it again so it's working great i'm gonna show you guys same on this uh, so here is the one i just configured that button here you can see now it is working fine so you're gonna need an application i'm just telling you again custom navigation bar and it's a beta version which is a good so once you open the application you have the option you know you can easily uh, hide your navigation bar for example hide your status bar this is completely gone you can hide your navigation bar in case you wanted to if you just swipe it down this guy is windows 10 mobile concept you know you can just hide it or enable that in case you switch from windows 10 mobile you got used to of this feature just use this thing so guys there you have it this is your picture in picture mode for the android o and it is working for the nexus 5x 6p google pixel and the google pixel xl on those devices you can easily try and use that so please let me know in the comment for which device did you try and for which device it didn't work so guys once again thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you guys in the next video have a great day